I'm Dean Huppert, and I'm here with the head coach of the Mishawaka Cavemen, Keith Kinder. And boy, big, big game this Friday night. You've got to be ecstatic to be playing in a regional championship. Yeah, you know, we're, our, our kids are excited about the opportunity. Um, it's the first one of these that we've played on the road uh, in, the, in the previous three years. So uh, we've been home for the last two. Uh, it's a really good football team that we're playing against, someone you know, that ended our season last year. So our kids are excited about the chance to, to compete against them again. Go back to last Friday night, and, and I know the first half wasn't what you wanted, but the second half you took care of business. You were able to hold up the trophy and, and come back and play another week. Yeah, you know, I was after the game, I was excited about the fact that we had to face some adversity. Uh, I thought that was kind of important because it's been a while since some, some things haven't gone our way. So, uh, you know, they, they played well, and, and they were ahead of us 21 to 20, with about eight minutes left in the third quarter. So. Uh, we were in a position where, you know, we had to, our backs were against the wall. We had to make some plays, and, and we did that and, and kind of got on a little bit of a run. And I, I think our kids uh, reacted in a way that we wanted to see when, when they got behind a little bit. So um, it, it, was, it was a great game for us. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, historically, you know, the first time we've won three sectional championships in a row, which is something that I think is really special. Uh, and then we get to, you know, compete again. So. Uh, excited about the opportunity that we got. We're going we're gonna to put it all out there and, and hope that we can compete and have a chance to win in the fourth quarter. We saw how the kids reacted when their backs were against the wall. You're down 21 to 20. What's your gut at that point? It, it, do you ever think like this thing could be over if we don't get it rolling or when is it going to happen? Yeah, you know, I, I, I didn't lose confidence in our kids. I, I, I stayed fairly calm. Uh, I think that you know the the play that that happened with CMAC kind of got everybody fired up and uh, got our kids fired up and and our coaching staff as well. So you know uh, I, I never felt like the game uh, that that we were in trouble trouble. Um, I you know I when they scored to go ahead, it was like okay we got you know we got a ball game and and let's see uh, what we're capable of doing. So um, it, this has been such a fun group to coach uh, that. They're laid back. They they have fun playing with each other. They they handle adversity well, um, and I think they're excited uh, about the chance that they have this week. Our fans know what Mishawaka brings. We want to control the clock. We want to score points. We want to have a big play on defense and and keep that other team down. What is Valparaiso going to bring, and how different are they from last year? Uh, that was a monster team last year. That uh, that I I, don't, I didn't know if anybody could stop them, but this team comes back with the same coaching staff and probably a lot of the same players. Yeah, you know they they've got their offensive line back, which is you know they're big physical kids. They've got their all state running back. Returning uh, new quarterback, couple new receivers, uh, and then defensively they've got their two D1 defensive linemen like they had last year. Um, a little bit younger on defense, I think they lost like six or seven starters from the defensive side. So, um, but but I think that the big difference is we're a year older, uh, a, a year stronger, a year more mature. Uh, our offensive line uh, is is much better this year than we were last year at this time. Um, our quarterback's a year older. I think he'll handle the pressure a little bit better than he handled it last year. Um, our fullback's playing well. So, uh, you know, uh, we, we got to play well to win, but I, I think our chances are better than they were last year. Yeah, we have tickets available in the athletic office, uh, twice as many as we could get last week. So it should feel more like a football game, and that's what you want in a championship game. The game's going to be on 96.1 FM. What excites you about this opportunity for your team as you go there Friday night and, and you take on the bike? Well, I think after, after the humbling experience we had last year against them, uh, the thing I'm most excited about is to see how much and if we've bridged that gap between the state's elite, because they were, you know, regardless of class, they were one of the five best teams in Indiana last year. Um, and it was displayed that we didn't belong on the field with them. Um, and we made a commitment in the off season in the weight room uh, with our strength program, our zero hour program, that we wanted to bridge that gap, all right? And, and we've used that 49 to nothing mantra a lot in the off season. We've used it a lot this week. Um, and so I'm excited to see can we compete with them? Are, are we, have we grown as a program to where we can compete with the state's best? And um, I believe that we have, but you know, only time will tell. Well, they've got a winning streak, one of the top teams in the state, and you've got a winning streak. Should be a great game Friday night. Looking forward to it. All right, good luck, Coach. Great job this year, and let's keep it rolling. All right, thanks. Go Cavemen.